welcome back to Shack Tide to Glory, and today is episode 69, lol, had to get that out there, I've been waiting for that for a few episodes, um, so last time out we had that dramatic game against Manchester City, um, obviously the two legs, the two previous episodes, we drew 0-0 uh, in the home leg, left us a tough, tough, tough ass to go to Manchester and get a result, somehow we pulled it off, got a 1-0 win there, and if you can, um, if you want to have a check of that before you go into this episode, um, you know, feel feel free because it, it, like I say, the two episodes combined were, you know, only one goal in them, but tense and yeah, um, that's what needs to be said on that really. Um, we haven't had any games since we've gone straight into the next league game, which is an away game against Dynamo Kiev. I did mention in that game, I think I mentioned it was probably going to be Vorskla, but I think there's been a bit of a shuffle change in the a shuffle in the fixture list. So we have got Dynamo Kiev today. Um, if there wasn't, I'm not too sure. It's a couple of weeks since I've recorded that that Man City episode, so the blood pressure and heart rate's gone down but I got quite far ahead um, and I've been focusing on a few other different things um, but I'm trying to get back ahead again and this is so yeah it's been a couple of weeks since I recorded that episode so it may well have been a Dynamo Kiev game but we're going to jump straight into that day keep this episode sort of nice and nice and sweet uh, short and sweet I've said that a few times and it's ended up being a 20, 20 minute footage we're not actually at the game so we'll cut to that right now in fact, no, we won't cut to that right now, because on the news story there, it says Manuel Pellegrini's position as manager at Kiev looks to be in trouble, uh, which isn't surprising, but they are second now. Um, I think we may have even won the league already. Have we won the league already? 20 points clear. I mean, all but, really. Um, and obviously on that, so I mean, I've got to say as well, on that last episode, we had to draw as well, and we did get PSG sort of our... Our old foe. In fact, following for that comment a moment ago, no, we haven't um, won the title. As you can see here in the news item before the game, which is tomorrow, um, we've got a team meeting to let them know we can win the title. I am not going to do that. Uh, they don't tend to go very well in my, I found in history, in historically, so I'm not going to be doing that, especially when it's Dynamo Kiev that is the game that can win the title. So we'll jump straight back in now to that. So game. here we are, finally at the game. It took a, <laughs> a little while to get to. Uh, there's quite a few games in the league that uh, other teams playing and stuff that we had to sort of scroll through. The laptops were running a little bit on the slow side. So they are playing a 4-2-3-1. Uh, a few familiar names there. Obviously, maybe not too familiar to, to yourselves watching because I don't focus on the, the league stuff too much. But, I mean, Junior Murray, who's been around a little bit, I think I think he's got quite a few clicks on the wrong player. I'm not going to go. I'm not bother going into it. But in terms of ourselves, we are playing quite a strong team. Um... A bit of a mixture of full strength and a little bit of rotation, but not the full rotation. Where you know, with you know the weaker, weaker players, it's done. Okay, we still want to win this game, and it does win the title as well. We want to keep the unbeaten run going. Uh, we've got a few other games coming. If it was a Champions League game, next game, then obviously we'd look at changing it com um, completely and giving everyone a rest, and hopefully we don't pick up too many injuries or anything like that. Uh, but we're looking for at least a draw here, I think, to secure the title. We let the assistant take all these, and we kick off left to right. Um, obviously, as you, as I'm recording this, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you see um, Shakhtar have announced today that Dario Serna, obviously a great player for us at the first year or two, will halt that fort as they go one 0 up inside a minute. Um, yeah, they, I mean, obviously the 20 points behind and Melo Pellegrini is under fire, but they've come out blazing here and. You know, any manager who's coming to Dynamo Kiev is going to struggle. I mean, I guess the manager would, the, the board would want someone who's going to give them more a challenge in the league and possibly other competitions as well. But that's a slightly worrying goalkeeping error there, really. But yeah, as I was saying, Darius Serna has announced his retirement. Long-standing Shakhtar player, fantastic Croatian player. I think he was their, uh, Shakhtar's captain as well. As as I'm recording, the day I'm recording this, he's announced his retirement. So that's a, a sad day for Shakhtar. Um, obviously, he's retired already on our game. We had him as a coach for a year or two in, uh, until we had the, the rejig in the staff, and he has now gone. And we had a chance to get an attack going then, but we lose out. But we do get it back and we give it away again. We're not playing great. We have not started this game. Obviously, gone 1 0 down very early, but they are pressing us very well. And wouldn't it be typical that the first domestic game I, <laughs> I a com in probably about three seasons we go and lose? But Butko, he puts it right. We mentioned him in an episode or two ago about he's possibly one to, to go in the in the summer. I still think that's probably the case. Far too injury prone. I wouldn't be surprised if he picks up a knock in this game. 
Um, I think we've got better options and we can possibly bring better options through as well. But good run. Good finish as well. Great goal. And their goalkeeper has a, a goal, uh, free kick here to neither of his box. I hope we might have won that first ball, but we don't. We should have the bodies here to get this back and formulate an attack of our own. But they've kept it well. We do get it though. Butko has come in right inside to get it. And Romero with a chance to run at their... What their well, I was say their right, the left back, but I don't know if he came across with Butko or not. Butko, Butko. We should have that under control. Back to Shevchenko. And we can start from the back again. Leo very far forward. And can he find Vizeo? He's not able to outrun the defender, but he makes a mistake. And Romero should score. Back to Vizeo. Can he find another great ball there? That was a great ball first time. But not this time. And as we get to half time, it's one all. It's the result we need, I guess. Um, not necessarily the one we want. They are dominating possession. They've only had one more shot on target than us, and our only shot on target has been the goal. Uh, it's yeah, we're not playing great. The midfield in particular aren't having a good day of it. Uh, it is saying they're getting overrun, but we see that a lot with this tactic, and it doesn't really often mean very much. Hopefully, we can come out second half and put on a better performance and if we play what we can play we could end up seeing a couple of goals in our favour but if, if we don't and we start the way we did the first half we could see ourselves letting a couple in here so plenty to think about as they come along down the left hand side again he's got a lot of players around him if we can just nick it away we don't and it's a good save by Shevchenko and it needed to be needed to be otherwise we're looking at a 2-1 Lost and we're not looking like we're going to be getting another goal anytime soon. Vizeo, if you could chase that down, that'd be amazing. I think that was Vizeo who just stood there and let it roll away. And as we get to the hour, they've got an injury at left back. They've made the change. Uh, we might start thinking about some changes of our own very soon. My computer froze. I don't know if you picked that. If that pick picked up on the recording, my computer froze that free kick winning, and I thought it got whizzed in, especially with my microphone sort of being on that side of my screen as well it was blocking my view a little bit but a good ball there Vizeo he's through and it's a save by their goalkeeper 70 minutes gone I think we're going to make some changes so we've got a lot of yellow cards Kovalenko is going to come out for Barco I think who up front isn't having the best day Yuri Alberto but he's also one of the ones that isn't booked we'll maybe put Alberto out wide and we'll take Vizeo off for Babacar. And who else are we going to change? Ideally, I want to change someone who's, I mean, Fred's absolutely knackered. But we'll put Malinowski in and we'll switch him and Barco, I think. We'll make three subs with 20 minutes to go. A bit risky, but changes there that can change this game. We've got two of the yellow cards off out of the five. We have a corner here. Barco takes it. It's gone to Romero. Kvitsov, off. Can he just not lose it? That'd be amazing. It's cleared. Malinowski's there. It's Barco and Baba. I don't know what's happened there. We'll have to look at it in 3D. That is some crazy stuff right there. I don't. It's not Babacar who's been gifted, uh, credited. I think it's an own goal. And as the ball, Malinowski plays it inside. It's Barco. Just a first-time ball. Great ball. Jury's out. I thought the defender hit it onto Babacar, but not too sure. Not too sure. And they have an instant corner. Please don't concede. And Babacar, he can spring a break here. Alberto should be in behind. If he looks left, we've got support. Romero's through. If he looks left again, he takes the shot on. He should have looked left. I think it's Babacar just busting the gut to get alongside of him and just needed the little FIFA tramp goal, a little swept pass to get it to him, and we would have been 3 1 up. Job done. We still have another chance. Mm. Nope, and it's gone. Four minutes added time. Enough time for them there to put some pressure on. Not happening so far. It's still all us. Barco. Malinowski. To Leo. Crosses the ball. Doesn't go anywhere. And they can break here. And they are breaking in numbers and in pace. But we win it back. And Babacar. What can he do here? Shoots over. Again, he could have looked right maybe for the pass. But he went for the glory. And as we 
get to the last few seconds of the allotted time and that is game over that should be the title well it is the title um, we're not going to let the assistant say that because that will anger them uh, you've sealed the title with your performance today yep absolutely we'll just get confirmation of that obviously I didn't have the 3D highlights on so we didn't see the trophy presentation at the end we'll just find the new story clinch the title there we go so next episode I think is going to be the PSG game I don't think there's much value in watching the Vorskla. Nope. Schnomeretz. Nope. Even less so. Um, yeah, so PSG will be the next game. And then I will bring Zoya because I, I think they've dropped down even further now. No, they're still third. Um, it is the next best thing after Kiev. And I do like playing them as well. They do give us a tough game. Probably give us tougher games than, um, than Domo Kiev do. So yeah, we'll bring PSG, and then we'll come back for Zoya, and then we'll do PSG. They're the next sort of three games, three games on a bounce as well. So I'll go and play the Four Sklet and Shinomarets offline now. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like. Uh, while you're there, drop a sub to the channel. Any comments, you know, all that good stuff as well. Um, I'm on Twitter as well, you can contact me that way. All good. Uh, so yeah, until next time for that PSG game. Hopefully we can put a nice um, performance in at the park. To, well, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Uh, the, the, the away ground. Uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.